Real good. Yeah, it looks a lot better this way. Like a lot better. You brought, you guys probably can't tell on camera, but I can tell, man. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Q. You know who back, back, back with another video, baby. Thank y'all for coming with me today, man. Starting the video off today, man. I got kind of a small upgrade. Not for the truck, but for the channel. As you guys know, but you don't know, I run my channel with what you're watching me on, which is a GoPro Hero 9 Black and boom this my iphone i run my channel with those two devices that's it i finally got a new iphone guys and you probably want to cue how the heck that's go help the channel so here's my new iphone it's a 12 pro uh i didn't get the max i don't like the max all that big stuff too big i like something small in my hand you probably want to cue yeah how is going to help the channel so i did get the 256 gigabyte um iphone and that's because guys how I work my channel when I'm using my GoPro to film, I transfer all the GoPro videos to my phone. So this iPhone is iPhone X. This is only a 64 gigabyte. So when I download video guys, I only can download so many before I run out of space. So if you notice on my videos, they're never more than like 20 minutes long. And the reason, that's the reason because I don't have the space. So usually I have to delete apps just to get space to download the videos from my GoPro to my phone. So it was causing me to cut out like a lot of a lot of scenes, a lot of a lot of stuff y'all probably wanted to see, but I just had to choose what was more important so I had to cut it out, which is probably a good thing because it keeps the fluff out of the videos. But now with the 200, the new iPhone, the 254, 256 gigabyte, I can not only store more videos, but the camera is so good on this thing, guys. If I ever don't have my GoPro, I will be okay and can still shoot on the fly, you know? So that's why I upgraded. It's an upgrade for the channel. Trust me, you may not think so, but it really is. And I won't have to delete apps, guys. Y'all understand? Like, that's so frustrating. I had to delete apps, put them back on, put in my password, redo all the settings. So, yeah. So we upgraded the channel just a tad bit with the iPhone, just more storage. And I'm telling you guys, you don't need a whole bunch of software to run your YouTube channel, guys. A lot of people want to get iPro Max and laptops. And you can, but you don't need to. I made it this far with an iPhone and a GoPro, two pieces of the device. So hopefully y'all enjoy and, it's, and can see the benefit of me going to a more uh, more space on the iPhone. All right, guys, so we got the new phone all switched over. You know, I had to go with that cowboy blue, baby. Cowboy blue, skirt, So I'm gonna show y'all two clips, GoPro and camera, iPhone. And y'all tell me, can y'all notice which one is which and which one y'all think look better in the comments? All right, guys, what y'all think? GoPro or the iPhone? All right, guys, so here we are. So comment below. What y'all think this is? GoPro or the iPhone? Hey, good morning, guys. Welcome back to the channel, man. Back, back. It's your boy Q. You know who. So right now, I'm on my way to Rockwall, and I'm going to get my coilovers finally adjusted. I'm going to raise the front end up just a tad bit to kind of level out with the back. I did measure in the, uh, before. I'm at the front. I'm like 46 and a half inches, maybe 46 and a quarter inch in the front and I'm about 47 and a half inches in the back. So I'm a little, I'm an inch lower, just about an inch lower, maybe more in the front than I am in the rear. So I got kind of like a rake, you know? So I'm gonna go get the coilovers adjusted, raise them up about an inch or maybe a half inch higher in the back. And it's super simple to do that guys. You right here, man, that big block, this big black thing right here, you take this tool and you just, you just basically turn it and it, these threads count, so that's how you count, you go down. So I have more threads showing when I get back. So um, this is your locker, the little black one on top right there. That's your locker. You have to just unlock that. It's just your locker. If you want to go up, you have to unlock that locker to go up. But since I'm going down, I'm trying to show you how so I get some more light. Yeah, that little locker right there, the little black thing on top, that's your locker. You have to unlock that if you want to go up. But since I'm going down, I'm gonna have to uh, bring it down more. Uh, just look at Rough Country YouTube video, it's super simple to do, but you do need a spanner wrench to do that. Or as a lot of people say, they use like a bolt nut because the spanner wrench actually kind of sucks. So I got my spanner wrench right here. You get that from Rough Country website when you buy your coilover. So yeah, we're gonna try to raise the truck up. I do like a tad squat. I like the way the little squat look, not squat, where it's kind of knows how, but the front is sitting just a tad bit higher than the back. I do kind of like that look, but my guy, Justin, um, who put me on and where I'm going is a guy who did his. He raised his all the way up, his coilovers, and he said that the ride rolled like crap, like it was way too rough with them all the way up. So he actually went to a smaller block in the rear and that way he could lower his coilovers and be the same level. So I think he went with a four or four and a half inch block in the rear and dropped his coilovers down. So now I think he's still a little high in the front, like a little nose high. I don't want to affect my ride quality too much. I don't want it to be bumpy. I believe these Vortex coilovers can go to about six and a half inches adjusted or something. Something like that, I, I don't know. But anyway, let's go.
Hey guys, so we just made over here to Bobby's garage. So we just measured. He said I was 21 and a half here in front and 22 in the back. So we're gonna go 22 and a quarter in the front and yeah, lead the back. And on the other side, actually, on the passenger side, I was quarter inch lower. So I think I was 22 over here on both on all around. So uh, my passenger side was lower than my driver's side. So we're gonna go 22 in a uh, 22 and a quarter on the fronts and then lead it back where it is. So that should should give it a little nose high look, maybe. You know, I hear people say that too, and I really that that. Hey Christian, yeah, come up a little higher so to drop this lower a arm, our upper a arm more. That yours? Yes, ma'am. Good looking truck. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Yeah, y'all can see as he's twisting there. You can see it moving. Don't let me make you nervous, man. <laughs> <laughs> you think I know there's a big ride and ride quality with that? Just that half, that quarter inch, whatever you're doing? The only thing it'll do is it may ride just a little rougher. Okay. Um, no more than we're going up, just a half inch. Okay. You ain't gonna tell the difference other than look wise, it's gonna see it. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, you don't see it in the look. Uh, when I was reading, they don't take the weight off the uh, yeah. suspension, they just. Well, not only that, if you don't take the weight off your suspension, uh -huh. it puts this upper A arm right in the line of your turn. Okay. Where if you drop it, it gives you access to your turn point. Ah, oh, got you. Okay. Just tighten it back down. Yep. So, I didn't show y'all. I should have showed y'all before. So if you would have counted these threads right here, guys, I was up here at first. So now I have more thread, more of these needles, threads right here. So that's how you can count, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, whatever. So he's about to do the other side right now. So right now he says he's just about to count the threads. Fifteen. Fifteen? Yep. And so now he's just gonna go on the other side to make sure it's the same or how far much further he needs to go down. So fourteen. Fourteen. So we go down one more on this side. It should be good but people don't realize going down that one it takes a, quite a few turns yep. <laughs> just to get that one extra one it takes takes quite a few turns so it, it seemed like one but it might take you about a good four or five turns you never know look at this gym Ford Bronco over here XLT I don't know what year it is it's, it's beauty though Dang. yeah how y'all feel about the Bronco I think it's nice Nice, real clean. <laughs> I almost, I almost just bust my ass. <laughs> oh yeah. Alright, Christian, do me a favor. Roll it backwards and roll it forward. That way the suspension will settle and then we'll pull it up. Oh. You see, you just roll it before, roll it back, let the suspension. Yeah, that way settle. the suspension will settle. Okay. And then we'll pull another measurement. I can tell y'all right now, man, it looks. It's a lot better. I prefer that a lot more than what it was before. Oh, I see. Yeah, it did settle a lot. Cool. So now you say he did that, just let the suspension settle and get some more measurement, new measurements. So let's see what we come up with now. I oh, appreciate it, boss. Twenty-two, twenty-two and a quarter. Cool, twenty-two. So twenty-two in the rear, twenty-two and a quarter in the front. Yep. And I do this side. There we go. It's perfect. Yep. It looks. I like the way it looks. It looks real good. Yeah, it looks a lot better this way. Like a lot better. You brought, you guys probably can't tell on camera, but I can tell, man. It's, the only it's thing different you can do uh -huh. is leave your left side a little higher if you're always riding with someone on the uh, driver's side. side okay. Yeah. 
you can leave your left side a little higher. That way, when you're sitting in there, the truck will actually set perfectly level. Ah, okay. Didn't think yeah. about that. Okay. That's it. That's it, man. Question for you. Why were you measuring under the steps? So when I was measuring it, I was going from wheels to here. Well, see, you got the thing about it is, uh -huh. is you've got a wider stance in between your fender well here. Right. And here, so you're not going to get a true reading. Ah, okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So I was going like all the way from the ground. Yeah. No, so You're don't. So you would, he was measuring from here. Yeah, you want to go with the solid, the, the most solid spot on the plane. Gotcha. And that's, now, and the, that's only time, okay. the only time you run into this is if they've got the amp board to where they come up. Yeah, it's yeah. It's hard to pull them over in this one. Gotcha. Cool. But when you've got factory mounts like that, yeah. that's when you're going to get your best level in. So you're mounting the, the actual bracket, the mount yeah, bracket the here. Bracket to the top of it? No, to the, right here toward the bottom of the, the, the front oh. of the frame. Okay, I got you. Just go from right there. Got you. Okay. Yeah, guys. So y'all can see now. I like the way it sits now. It's a little better. Yeah, that front is about a quarter of an inch high. Yeah, about a quarter of an inch high in the front and the rear. Looks good. And then when you drive it right, the weight's gonna transfer yep. to the back, so it's gonna yeah, maybe exactly. sit a little higher. It'll, Appreciate it'll you, boss. Still, it'll still settle some. Yeah. Okay. Um, while you're out riding on it. Cool. All right, man. All right, guys. So yeah, we done with that. Finish up, and I'll talk to y'all in a second. Always give a shout out to everybody who help me out do a good job with anything they do man so come out here at bobby's garage man right here in rock rock texas y'all see the number but i'm actually gonna put his other number the number i will use to get in contact with him down at the bottom of the screen so y'all want to hit him up and you need your call overs adjusted man hit up bobby you did definitely tell he knew what he was doing very knowledgeable y'all saw um like i said i was measuring here and he he said nah i measure from the frame but y'all can tell now man the sands look a lot better it's a quite a slight raised in the front but it looks good like the truck should look like this the whole time so uh just recap what he said i was on the 22 and a quarter in the front now and 22 in the back before i was 21 and a half i believe and 22 in the back so we went up uh three fourths on the, whatever you know y'all know the math y'all gonna do it anyway but you can see now man it's not squatted but it looks good a little nose high look and also when i drive you know the weight's gonna transfer to the back so it's gonna be sitting a little higher but also he was telling me you know that um my passenger side in my roller videos y'all saw when i was doing the rollers it was a quarter of an inch lower on the passenger side than the driver's side so that's why when i saw my video i'm like man it got a pretty good rate to it and it's just because th those quarters on that side were a little lower so when you get your quarters off the box you might want to go ahead and get them adjusted you know so you know where they are as opposed to um, what I did, I just installed them. As they were from the factory, we didn't adjust them at all. We just put them on and left them. So he said the rock quality might be a little stiffer, a little rougher, but uh, we'll see. My front end definitely can tell you it's higher. Like I can definitely see like I'm sitting like, you know, I was like this, now I'm like this, you know? So I definitely can see the difference visually being in the truck. So it's crazy what a quarter, thir a three fourths an inch or a quarter of an inch would do to how something looks, man. Like, uh, let me drive it here and see see how i drive and come back on all right guys so i've been driving the truck now for a little bit and far as like stiffness of the ride um honestly maybe a tad and i think only way only reason i'm saying that because he told me it might be stiffer so i'm thinking it's stiffer but a tad stiffer uh but to me it feels like a welcome stiffness I don't really like soft suspension like that. I don't like firm, firm suspension, but I don't like super soft, saggy suspension. I don't like that either. So to me, it feels, the truck feels pretty good. And also I do have my coilovers now set to three. So I can easily go ahead and set those to two or one as far as like the dampening or the, so the dampening of the, the coilovers to, to uh, soften them out. So it's not as, uh, so it can be softer. So that's the thing about the coilovers, man. That's the win-win, like you can raise them up, you know, make the truck taller. And also with that, I can soften the suspension if it, it firms up for me raising it higher, you know? So it's almost a win-win with these things, man. But so far though, I don't, I don't, I don't, I can a tad smidge. And I might just be thinking that way. If you jumped in here for the first time, you wouldn't know, of course. It's just cause I drive the truck every day. I like the way it looks, man. I, I always been a, a slight fan. And comment below if you the same way of that nose high look not squatted just a tad bit nose high i think it looks really good on lifted trucks man like it, it just make i don't know it's just something about it bro <laughs> i don't know what the hell it is it, it's, it's just something about the nose high look it just it looks right you know it just looks right anyway man that's all i got you boy q i'll catch y'all next week baby